It certainly is. Now, today is World Cancer Day, and every two minutes, someone in the UK is diagnosed with cancer. We're going to have a look at this with personal trainer and wellness coach, Lavina Messer. How are you today, Lavina? I'm good, thank you. Excellent stuff. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. This is obviously something that's very close to your heart on World Cancer Day. So tell us a little bit about what you do. So, as you said, I'm a personal trainer and a wellness coach. I'm all about trying to promote the health benefits of exercise so today is world cancer day and i want to try and make aware to people that we can use exercise like a drug to help cancer patients before during and after their treatment okay i mean some of the research and and the findings that has gone into the information that you're giving us today the recommendation that cancer patients should be put on fitness programs within 48 hours of being diagnosed and during cancer treatment i mean where did this sort of information come to light how did you gather this so it was actually from the nhs in december 2019 just recently where they've said to try and get people fit for treatment almost like if a heart patient had heart surgery and they try and encourage them to get out of bed and get moving they're saying let's try and sort of have a prehab and on some sort of fitness program uh, within 48 hours of being diagnosed with cancer Mm, okay i mean it's it's a certain challenge isn't it because uh, Ultimately, if you've been given that type of news, the last thing that you want to do is go down the gym, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean- no, of course. I've, uh, I would say that you don't have to go down to a gym because obviously it's going to be very traumatic mentally for you. I'm also all about trying to encourage people to realise that when you do exercise, you release feel-good endorphins. So they are the happy hormones in the body. It's not going to be easy, obviously, when you've been told something as devastating as this, but it will strengthen the body. And by exercising, obviously, it does help your weight get to a good, healthy level. And it helps to reduce the inflammation and boost your immunity, your metabolism, and obviously regulate your blood sugar. So there's lots of benefits, obviously, for the body to get stronger and try and help help you fight the treatment as well. Now, Lavina, when you're going through these these treatments, uh, radiotherapy and chemotherapy and, and, you know, just the different medicines that you need to be on when you're uh, diagnosed with cancer. I I mean, I know from personal experience from my friends that have have suffered, they they just don't have the energy for any sort of exercise. They are absolutely exhausted. They're wiped out by the meds. So how can you get onto a a training regime when you're feeling so poorly? Exactly. I totally sympathise. So I would say that you want to just try and start off with very small, short bouts of exercise so I'm talking about literally maybe just a couple of minutes I'm encouraging people to do a concept called exercise snacking and it's where you snack on exercise several times during the day it means basically start off more so you want to eventually anyone even with or without cancer would try and hit the government guidelines of exercise but those do sound pretty big so I would say even if you did a couple of minutes any amount actually help and you would gradually then build up and find something enjoyable that kind of fits in with your lifestyle so I do have lots of tips and ideas on my Instagram but one of the things I was uh, going to discuss is something simple that you could do at home that's quite convenient everyone typically got access to some stairs in their house and uh, you could do a stair snack which means just climbing flights of stairs a couple of times through the day and there's been some amazing research recently about how uh, that can not only boost your fitness levels but just get your body stronger and it does count as part of your aerobic activity. We know uh, within the military and and everywhere now the exercise does help with with mental health and ultimately after being diagnosed I imagine your focus is, is everywhere. If I was a friend of someone who had just been diagnosed knows and I'd say look come on I know what's going on but get yourself down the gym give me just a couple of pointers give me a couple of reasons why I would say to that person come on let's try and motivate you to get down the gym why why would they do that give me three reasons if you would so three reasons I guess if you've been diagnosed are that exercise is going to help with the side effect it's potentially going to help reduce your time in hospital and hopefully increase people's survival rate I would say to your friend you know even if it was not even going to the gym but just let's go out for a walk and help 
obviously with those mental health benefits, being out in nature and outdoors, um, it releases dopamine and the feel-good hormones. So simple, small steps, something very gentle and low impact to start off with. Mm. And then once they find something enjoyable, I would say it really is case by case because obviously everyone's bodies are going to react differently to treatment. But you can try and build up and just be as active as you can. Mm. Well, the, the research is, is quite impressive. For- 40% mm. lower risk of breast cancer if you're, if you're exercising, 50% lower risk of colon cancer. Uh, that's just to name a few. There's a, yeah. there's a huge amount of information and research online. And, uh, and it's really great to talk to you today on World Cancer Day, Lavina. But where can people go just one more time for a little bit more information? Sure, they can have a look on my Instagram at feelgoodwithlavina. And I also have a website, www.feelgoodwithlavina.com. Personal trainer and wellness coach, Lavina Meta. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Lavina. Forces Radio. BFBS. I promise that you'll never find another light.